Remember that crazy video we showed you of a tiger roaming a neighborhood in Houston? Well, people there are still a little nervous because no one actually knows where that big cat is. Here's Stephen Fabian. Where is he? The tiger named India remains at large in Houston. He has a collar. It is somebody's pet. Police say the tiger was last spotted being driven off in a pickup truck by the man who was seen here leading the tiger by the collar back inside the house. Cops identified him as Victor Cuevas. He was arrested for evading police. His lawyer insists it's not his tiger. We spoke to the Tiger Queen herself, former Dancing with the Stars contestant Carol Baskin. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. She told me the longer the tiger remains at large, the more dangerous he may get. This is just a ticking time bomb. Where do you think this tiger is now? Do you think it's out there roaming the streets or do you think it's cooped up in someone's basement? I think it's probably being kept inside somewhere because it's really hard to hide a tiger. Noel Almred is the sanctuary director at the Cleveland Amory Black Beauty Ranch. This time last year, we were all cooped up in our homes watching Tiger King on Netflix. Do you think shows like that contribute to people wanting to have a, a, an exotic pet? I think the public is now more aware and hopefully rightfully outraged that this is going on. So how easy is it to buy a pet tiger? An Inside Edition investigation in 2011 found three tigers for sale at this Ohio farm. Their owner offered to sell us a rare white Bengal tiger. The price? $2,700. And it was perfectly legal. And we'd like to talk to you about the tiger you're selling. Uh, no thanks. These are wild animals that belong in the wild. As part of the Humane Society of the United States, the sanctuary is fighting to stop the private ownership of exotic cats. <coughs> the nationally accredited sanctuary is not a zoo and does not permit breeding. The sprawling ranch outside of Dallas is home to many other exotic animals that have been rescued from the pet trade. The Humane Society of the United States is trying to help pass the Big Cat Public Safety Act. Uh, which is for in front of the Senate right now, and that will severely limit uh, private ownership and direct public contact with wild animals. There's many as 10,000 privately owned tigers in the United States. Only 4,000 tigers remain in the wild.